Yo, what's up everyone? Before we get into the video, I want to talk about some cool stuff that's happening with Ronnie Fitteds, my company. We are going out to Capcom Anaheim. That's a expo event and that's going to be July 23rd. So next Saturday, we are going to have our very own booth. So come by, come check out our booth. We're going to have a lot of dope stuff that I can't say just yet, but we do have new pins so this is one of the new pins that will be there let me get to focus boom this is the legacy saber of course it is inspired by power rangers i that was a big part of my childhood growing up tommy was my favorite ranger so i went ahead and did a power ranger inspired pin so this is tommy's saber sword when he was a white ranger and it's got the rf and i took out the tiger and i put in the elephant and then we also got the flute dagger that when he had when he was the Green Ranger. I'm calling this the Emerald Blade, so it does have the elephant right there. You can see the details. Boom. Both of these have not yet released. They will be available at my booth. All right, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up? Welcome back. My name is Ronnie Fitteds. I love fitted hats. I collect fitted hats. And this is a fitted hat channel. All right, y'all. It's about that time. You already know the best fitted hat pickups of July. This is part one. I have part two, part three later on for y'all. But part one of my best fitted hat pickups. I got Hat Club. I got Pro Image, and I got one from Topper Store. Now let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start with Pro Image. All right, y'all. So Pro Image, there's a lot of stores throughout the United States. These ones are going to be from one Pro Image out in Minnesota. Pro Image America or Mall of America. Shout out to the Pro Image team out there. Shout out to Joey, the designer of these hats. These are insane. Let me show you one that has already dropped. So in three, two, one, boom. Seattle Mariners. This one is crazy. You got the copper on steroids right there. Look at that, man. You got, is that gold too? So not only do we got copper, we got gold and gold metallic threading in there. And then of course the red shiny threading there's an off-white crown so this is a chrome they call it chrome uh, chrome crown and then the red bill let's go into the side patch there you see my create fire pin sold out thank y'all for anyone who copped for supporting but we got the great 35th anniversary side patch now this hat right here well let me I'll, I'll say it here in a bit but 35th anniversary we got copper green and then we got some yellow in there or like some gold but i think you guys already know what that is for we got the gold green and red flat batterman beautiful classic gray uv y'all black guts and this one is made in bangladesh not that it matters i'll wear it wherever it's made from as long as it's good quality, good stitched. Anyways, the 35th anniversary, that is a, oh, that is a, you know, like a shout out to Kevin Durant because this hat is inspired by the Seattle Supersonics. Of course, when Kevin Durant was on the Sonics, he wore 35. Now, when Durant was on the team, they weren't wearing, you know, much of the, the throwback jerseys. It was pretty much the, the green and yellow, uh, you know, the, sonics it, it didn't have that like gary payne look but i can see what you know they were trying to do super dope still this definitely gives that seattle supersonic vibe so for the hook you know hooking it to the team i think it's a great hook and then you know i don't even know that we we rocking with the seattle today but this one's a banger can't wait to rate this and also see what kobe thinks here at the end all right moving on to the next we got these two hats I have not released yet. This is two out of the six that we'll be releasing tomorrow, Saturday. 
July, Kobe was that 16th? July 16th? Yeah, okay. July 16th. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with it. Anyways, I'm gonna show you. This is the MP3 pack. So it's inspired by Joey's favorite albums. In three, two, one, boom! Let's go here. All right, maybe not all, all of them are gonna be your favorite albums, but this one is inspired by Selena, one of his favorite artists, RIP Selena. This is um, inspired by her performance at the Astrodome, I believe. So this one is very, very true to what she wore in terms of like the color of her dress. So I think that's what he hooked it to, but very dope. Let me go ahead and show you the front logo. We got the Houston Astros text logo, but you got the logo right there, the star. The stars, man. So this is metallic silver, beautiful. Houston is tonal um, to the, the hat. Same with the Astros. Very dope burgundy color here. Burgundy is one of my favorite colors, so I'm rocking with this heavily. We got 35th anniversary side patch. Black Batterman, black guts. Classic gray UV made in China. This one releases tomorrow. Once again, this is only one of six. And then I'll show you another one here. But man, that one is crazy. All right, next up, you saw it. Three, two, one. Boom! The Chicago Cubs! Yo, I love saying that every time. But look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful fitted. This one, if you don't already know, is hooked to Kanye West, the graduation album. You definitely get the vibes now, if you didn't before, but I just told y'all, so go look up the album, then check out this fitted. But we got the two-tone, once again, this is the crown, um, the chrome crown, and then you got a purple brim. So we got the bear right there, brown tan, then you got the salmon, the purple, Going on to side patch, the Wrigley Field side patch. Super dope. Great job, Pro Image America. You got the pretty much almost all the colors of the album cover in there. You know? Boom. Flat Batterman with the gold metallic. Nice, nice sneaky gold metallic in there. Gray UV black guts made in China. Joey, the designer from Pro Image America, he loves the classic gray UV. Most of the, the off-whites that Pro Image America would do, or you know, like even the Selena that you just saw, they're gray UV. Gray UVs are one of my favorite to wear just cause it's classic, it's clean. Definitely a good, nice, you know, touch. So, whew. I don't know which one I like the best, but this is the three clip piece from Pro Image America. Great job. Next up. Next up though, it's another Chicago Cubs. Three, two, one, boom. Yo, shout out to Toppers. This one is insane. This one is phenomenal. And I thought that Cubs before was phenomenal. This one is phenomenal. Look at it. I don't know. I get anime vibes from it. I, I can't tell which anime, but maybe Kobe will say something. But let's go ahead and start with the colors we got. We got the like toasted peanut crown. We got the sky baby blue or baby blue brim. And then the cub right there. The cub is baby blue. A shiny metallic baby blue. And then you got like an off white cream stitching the face of the cub and then the salmon border circle border side patch super clean this baby blue metallic really pops on on the toasted peanut so i think that was a great touch by toppers shout out to you guys you guys are killing it keep it up all-star game 1990 side patch one of the best side patches all-star game side patches of all time you ain't know flat batterman White guts, hot rod red, <laughs> hot rod, I don't know. Um, like a 
almost like a hot pink. No, but it's like, it's red. It's red. And then, uh, for the undervisor. And then made in China. This one, can't stop looking at it, y'all. One more look. To compare both cubs, both amazing. Look at that. See? Phenomenal. All right. The rest are going to be from Hat Club. Now, Hat Club has been doing uh, an awesome job of restocking some classic collections that they've had. And I'm I'm for it. Let me know in the comments what you think, how, how you feel about it. But for someone who, you know, wasn't able to cop last time, maybe just because it sold out too quick, or just like you just, you know, slept on it or passed up on it, you know, and, and then you wish you didn't have, now's the time to pick these up because hat clubs restocking their their gems their collections so all of these have been released before in terms of the collections let's get into the very first one in three two one boom let's go we got the hat club iceberg collection this is the atlanta braves you get the a script logo right there clean in the white stitching Icebergs will be all baby blue. They brought back, you know, maybe 10 teams this time, maybe a little bit more, but super dope. 1995 World Series side patch. Clean metallics in there. Flat Batterman. Blue UV, white guts made in China. I really did try to go for the Seattle Mariners. It had their current logo and the metallic stitching on the s was just beautiful i tried and i struck out um but i wanted something my next option was the atlanta braves just because you know the white stitching on the logo is just clean on this i feel like this will be a good you know icy fit you know like white baby blue 2000 throwback vibe you know i don't know but iceberg collection thank you hat club all right, next up will be the classic pink, oh, pink. <laughs> classic pink bottom collection. You know, they've been doing it throughout. They started in June. They did this release here in July. I'm sure they'll do maybe one more, but these are part of their rotations program. So these will be constantly in stock. And I, I, I dig that. I think that's dope. Once again, Hat Club is just trying to get everyone um, that wants a pink bottom, classic pink bottom fitted to get one. So everyone eats. All right, first one up in three, two, one. Boom, Pittsburgh Pirates, let's go. Let me, I love the contrast between these colors and then the pink bottom, just wait till you see. But we got the yellow crown, black brim, Pittsburgh P in black stitching. We got the World Series side patch. Look at that. Then we got the flat batterman. All the battermans will look like this. Um, actually, there's one I have that's raised, but in terms of the colors, classic or current MLB logo. White guts and then all of them of course are pink bottoms and then all of them will be made in bangladesh this one was a gem when i i heard this was like a noho exclusive at first or like a early access noho drop from back in the day this was a grail so just having a chance to cop it now man that's insane so this one in hand is ridiculous i'm glad i i have this now don't sleep next up this is an an old ode a shout out to the og because the og is a panic but this one is insane as well three two one boom colorado rockies the mountains are here we got the purple mountains right there now the og was I'm, I'm, I'm spacing out the 10th anniversary side patch. This is the 20th, but that OG one is ridiculous. But I, I just love the black crown. The pink bottom really pops. Boom. Ah. 
feel like a kid at a candy store. You know I've been picking these pink bottoms up, so. <sighs> I'm just happy. I'm happy to have these in the collection, man. All right, this one. This one is so clean. I saw Frosty Preem, the pink bottom originator, show this on his Instagram. And ever since, I've been waiting for them to release it. Um, shout out to Frosty. But in three, two, one, boom, the Atlanta Braves. Let's go. You got the current colorway, their home colorway. 2021 World Series side patch. See, this is the one I was talking about, the raised batterman. And then we got the pink bottom, guys. Now, see, looks like the regular hat, but then boom, pink bottom. I like it too. Look at that. It's, it's, it's funky, but it's nice. It's nice. All right. Here we go. We have one more, actually, from the pink bottom collection. But... It's the same colorway as the last collection I'm about to show you, which is the green eggs and ham. So I'm just going to show this with it. But in three, two, one, boom. So this is the Oakland A's. This is not the green eggs and ham collection, but the Oakland A's did have their part in that collection from the last year's drop. Not in this year's drop, but the Hat Club didn't want to bring it back in the green eggs and ham because they wanted to drop this here in the classic pink bottom collection because this was originally part of the pink bottom collection the battle of the base series so i totally get why there wasn't an oakland a's in the green eggs and ham collection drop but man i love this colorway setup so much the green and pink you already know me i love green dark green hats or just green in general so with green and a pink bottom, it's probably my favorite. If if it's not my favorite, it's definitely on the top colorways for me. Let me know what y'all think if you love the green and pink setup. But yeah, I got four green eggs and hams. That's how much I love it. Let's go ahead and get started with the first one. In three, two, one. Boom! The Texas Rangers, y'all. Now I had to get this one because of the red stitching, red, green, and pink. It just all works and get the white there as well. 2011 World Series side patch. All of them will be black guts and this one is pink under visor. Once again. All right. I lied. This one is not mine. This one is actually Kobayashi's. Great pickup, bro. One day I'll snag it from you without you knowing. But in three, two, one, boom. Baltimore Orioles. You got the classic O's logo. I don't think I... Oh, I have one. I have the off-white two-tone from Hat Club in this. But this was one of them ones, I think, on the tops. I think he told Kobe told me he was going for this. And that's why I didn't go for it. Because if he has, you know, some someday that'll be in my collection. So... Kobe, great pickup, 50th anniversary. Side patch. Raised batterman on this. You got the green and pink. Pink bottom, black guts. Made in Bangladesh. All right, next up, Pittsburgh. Pirates. Let's go. You got Jolly Roger right there with the pink bandana. Okay. 2006 World Series side patch. Flat Batterman. Pink guts. Last but not least, guys, my favorite one, I think. Boom. Seattle Mariners. This one goes crazy. It's got yellow in there, it's got the silver metallics. Look at it. Look at it. 30th. Yeah, 30th anniversary side patch. Can't wait to curve this one. Come on, focus. Uh, there we go. And then we got the green, white, and pink. Pink UV. Woo! As always, that's feels good to get through all the hats. 
thank you all for sticking with me we got kobe's rapid fire reviews rapid fire ratings whatever he wants to call it we got him up in three two one yes sir what's up yards boy hey kobayashi and you already know what time it is quick fire ratings Please. let's just get right into it let's go toppers all right, well, we got the Chicago Cubs. Chicago and Cubs! Y'all right, already know I'm a fan of like the brown, brownish colorways, right? Yes, um, but I'm not sure about this brim and UV. Throws me off. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Oh my yeah. god. I'm trying to be a little, a little harsh. Ronnie says there's some 9s and 10s in here. So let's see oh if he's correct. God. And we got another Chicago Cubs right Chicago here. Cubs! Yes, sir. And I actually really like this one more. I like the colorways, the two tones, off white. You can't really complain about that. That's Kanye West graduation, bro. And there it is. Inspired. The hook is crazy. So with that said, I will give this a nine ten out, out of ten. Oh, okay. Sorry, okay. nine out of ten. Pro and image. Boom. Seattle Mariners, and um, I really like this colorway as well. Can't go wrong with a, again off white two tone. There's that fire sword right there, and I like this one. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten though. Selena. All right, so we got the Houston Astros and like a burgundy, burgundy vibe, and I really like it. I think you can rock this a lot. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Okay. Hat club, pink bottom collection. All right, so we got first off with the Atlanta Braves here, and I see this colorway a lot. Um, it's just added with the pink bottom, so I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. And then we got the A's. Oakland Athletic, and I, again, reminds me of the green, green Eggs and Ham, right? So I'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10 based on that alone. And then here we go with the Colorado Rockies, and can't go wrong with the classic black, right? Black hat, so I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 as well. And then we got this two tone Pittsburgh Pirates, yellow and black, and I feel a little iffy about it, so I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. This one is the Iceberg collection. I only got one. Iceberg, and it's going to be the Atlanta Braves. And personally for me, I pass on the Icebergs. Uh, I didn't I have too many same colorways right. But this one's nice. I like the logo. Script is obviously one of my favorites. So I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. All right, and this is the Green Eggs and Hands. All right, rocking with the Green Eggs and Hands. First one is my personal cop, right? It's the Orioles. And I love this one. Love the side patch on it. So I'm going to give this one... Might be biased. A 10 out of 10. Let's go. Oh. Yes, sir. Bias. <laughs> bias. Bias. But then following that is the Texas Rangers. And I really like the red on this one. Uh, I think it helps out pop on the hat, right? And oh. then... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, chill, bro. Chill. And uh, yeah, I think overall really good hat. 9 out of 10. Yeah. And then we got another Seattle Mariners. For me, the yellow kind of throws me off it's overall works well with the hat but i personally wouldn't go for this one seven out of ten for me and then here we go last but not least pittsburgh pirates and i really like this one as well i like the pink bandana on it um i'm gonna give this one eight out of ten so with that that's been kobe's quick fire ratings you already know back to you ronnie yo kobayashi thank you little bro i know he doing it to get a rise out on me he's trying to stir some controversy controversy <laughs> but <laughs> controversy anyways bro this deserves more than what you rated it let me show you my top two picks from this entire review first one being this seattle mariners right this one is insane we got metallic copper and gold stitching i love that Man, you already know me. Metallic stitching is the way to my heart. So we got, <laughs> when you put gold and copper, it's a win-win. But more shiny th threads right there. This one, one, one of them ones. This next one, Kobe gave this one a five. Yeah, but, I did. I definitely did. But bro, this one, I feel, is just a head turner. Like, boom, look at it. The Chicago Cubs. This right here is insane. And somehow the colors work. You curve this up, you know, like people are gonna people are gonna look at your head when you're wearing this, like, you know. Five, man. 
I mean, step out of your comfort zone, Kobe. Like, this one is unique, bro. That's that's why I like it, guys. Five gang, five gang. Five gang. Anyways, for me, I would say this is more like a, a nine, or almost even a 10. But, hey, I love it. I love it. All right, y'all. Thank you again for watching the video. You already know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Comment what was your favorite hat in this entire pickup haul. And go ahead and like the video. I mean, we appreciate y'all. You know, we even cleaned it, cleaned up the room for y'all. But thank you again for watching. My name is Ronnie Fitted. Don't be afraid to create. Love y'all. Peace.